Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another beer review and uh, this is the kind of uh, part three in the kind of little mini Russian series if we can get some more Russian beer and some more kind of different types of Russian beer then of course we'll obviously continue that but we'll also try obviously beers from other countries around the world as well because hey, let's see what their taste in beer are like and what's popular but today we're going to do something a bit different. Unfortunately, again, it's still part of the, the Voltica range. And uh, it's uh, Voltica 6 we're going to be doing. But it's a porter. So it's a darker beer. So it's a, a Russian porter. A Ruski porter. Uh, it's Baltica 6. Or Shest. So it's Baltica Shest in Russian, Baruski, and uh, this one's 7%. Ooh, suddenly we've been up in the stakes. So yes, so this is a... I'd let you see the label a bit better. So yes, Russian Porter, and of course, it's, if you can see that, it says 7%. So this could be quite good. Again, I've never tried this. I have obviously drunk um, other kind of dark beers. A Jack of a Premium was a very popular one. Kozel Dark or Kozel Jomny. Um, Jomny being meaning dark and, and Russian. So that was a very popular one. I enjoyed in that. But I've never really tried this one. So, well, it's not never really. I just haven't tried it. So, because I've always kind of avoided the Baltica range just because it's so mass produced. But yeah. Let's see what this is like. Let's crack it open. Ooh. Again, this has got a normal kind of brim pool rather than the ones. Which again, I think the, the ones that pull off are the ones that should be drunk at the bottle and the ones that have got the actual normal kind of cap where you actually have to pop it off are the ones that really should be poured in a glass. So let's see how it pours. Let's see how dark it is. I'd expect this to have probably more hops in it, maybe, but no guarantee. So yes, as you can see, there's a porter. It's nice and dark. It's well carbonated. I'll give it that. So it is. And you can see, nice and dark. With a nice kind of tanned head. Not much of a head. It's probably about, well, it's not even half a finger, but... Mmm, right. So we're getting malt, we're getting some chocolate, some kind of lean you know, dark chocolate, we're getting malt, kind of syrupy roasted malt. No real hops or anything like that. So yeah. That's what we're getting. So we're getting chocolate, we're getting green, and we're getting malt. And get a kind of syrupy, kind of that kind of molassesy syrupy kind of smell as well. Don't ask me why, how I know about that. I'm not talking about treacle, is it? We're talking about the real molasses, but that's a story I'll, I'll maybe tell you another day. That's when I used to have to do work in India, building a, a distillery. Yeah. So. The heads can have come down, but there is a wee bit of lacing in the glass. But I think it's quite a lot of carbonation. That's what it felt like when I was pouring it. So I'm getting cacao or cocoa powder, kind of uh, the bitter stuff, not the sweet kind of cocoa. The Russian say cacao. So yeah, let's give it a try. Oh, oh god, yeah. Oh. I can see why I was getting the smell of molasses. By god, has that got a kind of that syrupy kind of molasses stroke bitterness? Yeah. Oh god, yes, absolutely right there. It's uh, Yes, there's a maltiness, there's a molasses kind of 
bitterness, strong molasses kind of flavour, but no sweetness. It really doesn't have any sweetness to it at all. It's not bitter, but it's just not sweet in any way. There's no. I can't find any sweetness in that at all. I'll obviously try a couple of drinks. I'll persevere, of course, you know. But yeah. That is completely different from obviously the two kind of lagers we, try, we tried um, previously, which of course, but yeah, there's they haven't got a lightweight in this. If, uh, yeah, it's there are porters and that there's usually kind of element of sweetness, there's nothing in this that's sweet, but you're getting the kind of. I'm not going to say bitterness because it's not bitterness, it's kind of more of a sourness that you can get with molasses. It's like the sour kind of burntness of kind of treacle, but without the sweetness that follows it, you know, that type of stuff. So you're getting that initial sourness and then the sweetness comes in later on that you get with treacle or molasses you just don't get that you just still get that kind of sourness it's there and of course obviously the kind of treacle flavor which is again is a kind of like a a burned or roasted kind of sugar but again it's a strange one because you, you're getting the flavors of the kind of burnt roasted sugar but you're not getting any of the sweetness that you get from burnt roasted sugar, so yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. And again, as you can see, it's kind of completely dead, so I mean, it's lacking in malt and hops, sorry. So there's not much hops in there. But yeah, um. How would I rate that? It's quite a strange one. Um, it's got some of the flavour accents of Guinness, but again, Guinness has a, a little bit of sweetness to it. All these kind of Murphys, all these other kind of stouts have it. You know, the dark stouts. Again, with porters, you're supposed to get that kind of little element of sweetness and everything else, but you're just getting none of that. How do I feel about it? I find it strange. It's not unpleasant to drink. It's not as the cases of ones I've drank it and all the kind of flavours have died down. I'm like, well, oh, I don't want it anymore. I've got no problem taking another sip. But it tends to kind of make it a kind of bit bland. You know, it has all that kind of flavour to start with and then it doesn't kind of lead anywhere. It's like, there's a flavour there and it just kind of, that flavour just kind of tails off. So it starts off really strong at the start and then kind of starts to kind of tail off mid tongue and then tails off into the back of the mouth and then disappears. So the back of the mouth, back of the tongue just eventually just dissipates. And there's nothing else. So it's like that one prayer or four fire like boom. Ooh. And then it just kind of calms. And that's it. I couldn't seriously drink a lot of it. Oh, somebody's at the door. Hold on. But anyway, to get back to the beer. Mm. Um, yeah. It becomes very boring because it's like, boom. Boom. It's just... The kind of... How it finishes just isn't pleasant. It's like... There you go, and you think, oh, where's this going to lead? And it doesn't lead anywhere. It's just like, mm. and uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's lacking. So as it's lacking, ah, uh, starts off promising when you take a sip of it, but then you expect maybe just maybe tail off to a nice little kind of either a bitterness or tail off to a kind of a sweetness, but no, it tails off to the same kind of sour flavour you got at the start and it's like hmm 
So yeah. No, not my favourite in any way, shape or form. If you take this as like the a jack of a premium that I used to drink, which is a kind of similar beer from the Jackova um, brewery in the Jackova kind of part of Moscow. And uh, yeah, it had a ever so slight sweetness on the aftertaste that just kept it interesting and everything else. So for me, a far better beer. This, no, it's, it's kind of lacking. It's just like one flavor, flavor profile that, ooh, it's not even the best part of the flavor, you know, if you look at like Porto flavors, yes, yeah, you can get that kind of sourness and kind of um, molasses, syrupus, kind of syrupy kind of flavoring, but it's just not there at all. It just, it's a very one dimensional when it's kind of flavors and uh, there's no change to that and it just it starts off fine but it doesn't particularly finish nice because you don't want to start off with a sour flavour and then finish with the kind of same sour flavour maybe not as intense or as strong but it's still there and you're thinking no you wanted it to take me somewhere but it didn't it just like started here thinking no oh, where's it going to go from here Oh god, it's the same, same flavour, just tailing off, it just, no, it's actually quite disappointing, it was actually, out of the three, obviously I knew it cooler was because I'd, I'd drunk it quite a few times before, I hadn't tried the Multica 5, which was a kind of premium golden lager, um, and that was fine, I mean, I had no problem with that, but this is the one that was kind of, looking forward to thinking well I'd had high hopes for it you know 7% there was a porter I do like my dark beers I think I have never kind of uh, hidden that fact but but indeed yeah it turns out that the one I had high hopes for and the one I was looking forward to to trying is the one that's probably the most disappointing and uh No, I, I, it's not getting any better, you know, sometimes you think, well, while your mouth kind of acclimatises and gets used to, it can then maybe bring out some different flavours that you're maybe not initially getting with the first couple of sips. No, no, they're just, I mean, my taste buds are in search of any kind of sweetness or any other type of flavours there, and they just are not any other flavours. None at all, with just that one flavour profile. So out of five, what would I give it? Um, I'm going to give it a one and a half, because it really is disappointing. Yes, it's got the 7%, it's got the alcohol, it, it starts off with a good, strong kind of flavour, but then doesn't go anywhere, it just like kind of tails off and just a... It's not a nice feel to have that kind of the last flavour you have. I mean, it doesn't linger. I mean, I don't have the flavour in my mouth really now. But it's not a nice way to finish in it as an aftertaste. It's just like, it's sour. And it's still sour. And it's just, you know... They could have taken it so many different ways. I, I, it's quite funny when they call it a porter. I would probably call it... It's actually almost very close to being a sour beer. I think they probably misjudged it. If they sold it as a sour beer, then that's a different story. But to sell it as a porter, but it could be maybe that there's something lost in translation. I might actually have a look at the kind of original kind of uh, description in Russian on the Voltika website. And because maybe they're calling it a porter as a translation into English but it's not really a porter. So it'll be interesting to see what they describe as the flavour profiles and the description in the actual Boutique website. So I'll have a look at that and if there is anything 
different on that then of course uh, in my next video I'll kind of update it from that but no quite disappointing um, not a particularly nice beer because of that it's just it's my view it, it's very boring very one-dimensional it's lacking any kind of character you've got the initial burst of flavor at the start and that, that, that's what you're stuck with and it's not the best flavor to be stuck with a kind of sourness in my view you want something to kind of balance it out there's, there's just too much to the one side too much to kind of the sour side and there's nothing else so there you go You've, I've given my score, I'm not particularly happy, quite disappointed, not, not a good way to kind of end a, a video. But uh, as you can see, I've not been drinking much of it compared to other stuff. So that's us for this review. So thanks for watching. I'll say cheers, but maybe not cheers. And uh, bye for now.